Hey, Marcus Conti reporting from Brooklyn, New York. <laughs> Where else? Uh, I got my John Lennon shirt on today for this one. John. Uh, give peace a chance. Remember that? Uh, what a theory. What a theory. So it's uh, July 10. Uh, actually, it's July 7th, but... Uh, this is the uh, I wanted. I just want to get out in front of this story because I know a lot of people, um, a lot of people in the alt media are going to be talking about uh, the Seth Rich uh, murder, quote murder, uh, that occurred back in July 2016. July 10, 2016. It was a late Saturday night. It actually was July 9th, a Saturday night, and then about 4 a.m. The, the, the official narrative, the official CIA, FBI narrative is that uh, he was shot in the back twice and murdered on the streets of D.C. Now, who was Seth Rich? Right? I started reporting about a year ago. So for me, watching the Seth Rich uh, story unfold really was uh, watching mostly George Webb and, and uh, uh, folks like that. They were running around the streets of D.C., unraveling this uh, mystery, what the FBI and the Metropolitan Police in D.C. were actually telling us and what was actually, what, what, what actual evidence was there to, to uh, validate those stories. So, so Seth Rich, um, this is the real story. I was a Bernie Sanders supporter and I, I followed it fairly closely. Now, the, the, the DNC, right? The story, the story today is even more revealing than than it was at the time because the th the idea that somehow Russia hacked the election, right? That theory that Russian agents swooped in and 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 hacked the DNC. It I mean, if you weren't really paying attention, like like a lot of us were, uh, independents that were promoting and and supporting Bernie Sanders for the 2016 presidency to the democratic um the democratic nomination if you weren't paying attention you probably didn't know exactly what was going on and if you read the if you read the hype today about the seth rich murder like for example if you go to wikipedia even wikipedia has bought into the notion that somehow it was a right-wing conspiracy when there is no first of all there is no conspiracy there is a a a there's there's a lot of facts in the record that support that Seth Rich was in fact not murdered at all, right? And it was not a right wing conspiracy, but it was the Sanders supporters who were getting screwed by the DNC leading into the convention, which was July 25th. So Seth Rich was murdered July 10th, and then um, on a Saturday night, July 9th, and then th three weeks later or two weeks later, July 25th. The DNC had their con their fake convention where they nominated Hillary Clinton uh, for the for the candidacy, when all evidence suggested that Bernie Sanders actually won the nomination and that he was screwed. Right. So, so who is Seth Rich? Seth Rich is believed, quote, believed to have been the DNC uh, leak, the person who leaked the WikiLeaks. Uh, the information, the Podesta emails, all of the, the the corruption that was going on within the DNC between Donna Brazil, Debbie Wasserman Schultz, how Hillary Clinton had taken over the DNC, how the money was moving around. There's also another name, Eric Braverman, who for the most part has disappeared. We know he's still alive, but he's he, he somehow disappeared. I, I'm going to have a theory. I'm going to formulate my uh, a very specific theory that I have about Seth Rich and, and what actually happened that I don't think has ever ha, has ever been really looked at from that angle, but it is my educated um, opinion, my guess, based on the evidence. I'm also going to play a recording from, and, and I'm getting this evidence from, from uh, my impression from Seth Rich's family, who actually did a, 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 a piece with ABC two days after the murder. And We'll watch that piece together. It's very revealing. And, and I mean no disrespect to the families or, or anybody. I'm independent. I don't, I'm not a right winger or left winger. <laughs> I'm just a guy who, who I, I'm, as, a, as an investigative reporter, I must 
stay honest and true to myself. And I must look at the facts. And when something shakes me, I I must report on it. That's that's how I work. Right. So, okay. So there is no. I I don't need to apologize to the family. I'm just putting it out there that that their actions and their character in the video that I'm going to show is 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 very revealing. So let's look at the facts. The facts. Okay. Six years later. How many minutes in? Am I? I'm already five minutes in. I don't want to. I don't want to make this too long. But the facts are that. Uh, Seth Rich, the, the official narrative is that he was shot twice in the back on the streets of D.C., right? And that he, he was still alive and he was shuffled off to the hospital and he later died in the hospital and, and, and that's how the story goes. Now, he, these are the actual facts, right? That's just a story, right? There is absolutely no evidence whatsoever to support that idea other than some official FBI metropolitan dc metropolitan police report but there's no there's no physical evidence why there's no medical examiner report no autop autopsy has ever been released signed autopsy has never been released on seth rich All right that's part of the public record that should be made available it never was that's highly suspicious that's a red flag right there where's the autopsy where's the autopsy how did he die who signed the autopsy? Who, who conducted the autopsy? How many bullets, right? What kind of bullets? What kind of gun? From, from what distance was the bullet shot, right? All that stuff is revealed in the autopsy. What arteries did it hit? How did he, how, what caliber of, of gun? What, did, was, he shot, was he shot in the back? That, okay, so all that stuff, right? The ballistic reports of the scene, is, it plays into that. That, that report has never been has never been uh, released. Nobody has ever seen that. The, we don't know what kind of gun it was. We don't know what size bullets was. We don't know that from what direction the, the the shots were fired. There's no there's no crime scene photographs. There's no there's nothing. <laughs> there's nothing. Nothing has ever been released in terms of the ballistic crime scene reports. There's not a stitch of video has ever been released. Now, two shots, they're claiming that two shots rang out in D.C. suburb, and not a single person came out of their house and documented it, not a single person, no video footage whatsoever, nothing, right? No death, death certificate, right? There's no death certificate. Where is Seth Rich's death certificate, right? And who signed that death certificate? Where is it? Where is the, where is the, the, the family and the friends that went to the to the wake and the funeral and where is the out there's no outrage there's no outrage there's no no photographs now the only photographs that we know are is that uh at the the flagler market apparently the 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 uh police say metropolitan police say that two videos were in fact given to them and they were filmed at the flagler market that's the market that was on the corner where he was allegedly shot Right. The other thing is that that the the, the official uh, photograph, if you recall, the photograph that the police released was was a generic crime scene photograph. It, it was never a photograph released of the of the actual crime scene. That's highly it's unbelievable is what it is that nobody nobody heard any shots. Nobody nobody saw a damn thing. Right. Highly suspicious. The other parts of it is. But this could also be part of the official narrative that all of his possessions were still intact, his, his wallet, his cell phone, all that stuff, right? right. The, the, what else? So, so that's the, the crime scene, right? That's the, those are the actual, there's a story and there's no evidence to support the story. So one must conclude, one educated thinking mind who actually still has the ability to critically think in this in this wave of conspiracy in this wave of propaganda must conclude that a murder did not occur in the way that it happened right there's no evidence there's no evidence ever provided that people can a tangible story a tangible pile of evidence that someone can conclude that someone was shot twice in the back in the middle of the street and died in a hospital 
There's no evidence to suggest that that ever happened, right? All we know is that for certain is that Seth Rich has disappeared, right? He is, he's gone. He's not, he's not here. Now, that's part of my theory of, of what happened, and I'll tell you that at the end. But So Seth Rich was, was um, as uh, Julian Assange is the leader of Wiki, WikiLeaks, uh, WikiLeaks, and S Julian Assange as a publisher has never publicly stated that Seth Rich was the leak. Julian Assange is likely to not even know if Seth Rich was in fact a leak because the way WikiLeaks is set up is that you can drop inf apparently you can drop information to WikiLeaks and and your you as a source might be I don't know hidden or or not not revealed but Julian Assange is only alluded to the fact that Ju that Seth Rich was in fact a leak that gave the Podesta emails that showed how the how the Clintons and how the Democratic Party was rigging the election against Bernie Sanders and and elevating Donald Trump as with a Pipe Piper strategy, meaning that they would promote Donald Trump because they thought he was an easy win. They so they, you know, so right. All of that's in the emails. That's the cover up, right? And and then you know so. How did, how did, where the fuck is Russia? Where does the Russia story even come into any of this stuff, right? I'll tell you, I'll tell you why, again, why Russia m made a story. So, so again, so there's also another name that we, we have to mention when we talk about this. Now, is Seth Rich, was Seth Rich going to the FBI to reveal what he knew about, that there's a theory that he, he was scheduled to go to the FBI and, tell the FBI all about um, the corruption inside of the DNC. Now, that may have been true, but what, what is absolutely true and factually true and, and true to the best of our knowledge and the testimony of the guy who he actually said said it to is, is uh, Jared Beck, right? The, the, the guy, the lawyers who, who Jared and Elizabeth, who, who executed the DNC fraud lawsuit that came after the DNC came. I think they served it in August second, or r right around that time. They served it in in the first week of August, and Jared has said that Seth Rich was going to be a witness in the case, right? The guy who served the DNC lawsuit was also killed, or dis he he was clearly killed. They have a body. They have an autopsy. They sh apparently they found a mixture of chemicals and drugs in his body and uh and he he died right right he wasn't a drug addict he had no drug history and suddenly he dies of a mix of three different concoctions and uh, that was um sean lucas uh died uh august 2nd and there's that that wonderful video of him serving the dnc and walking into the you know dnc office saying pow you served right and, he, and he's dead too. He was also to be a witness in the DNC fraud lawsuit. So is there a reason to get rid of Seth Rich? Of course, of course, of course. He, he's, he's openly stating to a, a team of attorneys in Florida that he will be a witness, a witness against the DNC, an eyewitness. Seth Rich was, was a worker inside of the DNC. He was an employee. He had, apparently he had access to the the uh, servers he had access to data they say he wasn't a high level you know person but the dnc is a fucking a joke anyway you see how they there's there's no security there right so and those those servers have never been examined to prove this evidence in fact the fbi has stated that they never they never investigated the dnc a guy got murdered on the streets of dnc an insider a dnc insider and the fbi never Sees the servers never did an investigation instead dnc got uh, uh, an outside organization a pay-for-play organization called crowdstrike to come in and everybody was instructed to leave the building and then crowdstrike worked on the computers and wiped out all this information and and you know and we, and we never know what happens and then from there the birth of guccifer right this this fictitious <clears throat> idea of a, of a of a leaker or somebody inside the answer so <clears throat> so there's that so so um so 
the, the bottom line is, is, is Seth Rich dead? I believe he's dead, yes. I believe he's dead, right? Because, you know, where the hell is he? Is he, is he capable of keeping his mouth shut and why? It, it, that, that part of it doesn't make sense. So I'm going to give you my theory. This is, uh, this is I, I guess, a new theory based on what I, what I observed. I, I mean, I watched the family uh, go on record um, two days after Seth Rich was murdered. ABC covered, they went down, uh, they went uh, to his family and they did a, 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 a report. And I, I just don't, I, I don't believe the family. I, I don't believe the family. So let's, um, let's jump into this video. Let's watch the video. And then uh, I'm going to come back with some, some heavy commentary. Watch this. From what we gather from what we've heard from the detectives um, and what we learned from Kelsey, he was talking to her. Um, she heard some noise on the phone. She said, are you okay? Are you home? He says, yeah, I'm home. And then it's, I have to call you back. And we don't know what happened there, except he ended up shot twice in the back. And uh... So that's very revealing right there. He heard what his father said. He said he was talking to his girlfriend, and the girlfriend asked him, are you home? And he said, yeah, I was, I'm home, but I have to call you back. He wasn't on the street when he got killed, right? I, he was home, right? If you're walking from a bar... Right. That was the official story that he came out of, you know, he came out of that that pub in D.C. and he was walking home and he got killed on the street. Right. But you hear the father say that he was home. The girlfriend was talking to him. He was home. That contradicts the idea that he was on the street. That's from the father's. That's that's what they were telling the father. Right. Right. That's a fed story because the father doesn't know the father was in a different state. But it's, 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 it's very revealing. Now, the other thing about, as we watch this, do these people look like, like their son just got killed two days ago, got shot dead? Or do they look like they're reading from a, pro, a teleprompter? Let's continue to watch. Was, they said he was talking to the officers when they first got there. He was maybe stable when he got to the hospital. And then things went bad and bullets and people don't match well. He had bruising on his face. He had bruising. So his father's just saying, you know, he got, he gets, got murdered. Did you see his father just mouth the words that the mother was going to say? He had bruising on his face. He had bruising on his back. Watch his, just roll it back and you'll see his father's mouth move. Bruising on his face. He had bruising on his face. He had bruising. But anyway, let's continue to watch. Let's, let's uh, watch the mother. Bruising on his knuckles and he had bruising on his knees. So we know he struggled. But we believe someone came from behind him. Um, was he pushed down? What the struggle was? There's no surveillance yet that we have heard of or anything. We know the police are looking for that. But we may never know what actually happened. So the mother is, the mother is, oh, she, I, I mean, your, your child was just shot and you're talking about the murder of your child and there's no, there's no tears, there's no... It's nothing. There's no, there's, I mean, that's, I just, my cat just died and my fucking, I couldn't talk for two days. I was crying. I, my, every time I thought about the cat, my, my, my eyes would water, right? I was like, I, I was broken. I don't, just don't, I don't, I'm not buying it. I, I'm not buying it that this is not, this is not staged in some way for some reason that I'm going to tell you in a second, right? I'm going to tell you after it's over. My, view of what the fuck is going on watch if, if it was a robbery it wasn't successful because the police have all his belongings cell phone nope. wallet credit cards money so nothing was taken nothing was taken so from him was... so if that's what they were trying to do they they got scared and they ran off and he was a caring person that he wanted to make a difference and unfortunately those visions those ideas are going to have to be unfulfilled that he's not able and and the communities or the whatever things he was working on his biggest thing now was helping make sure that people you know who wanted to vote that they could find the polling places they could do vote 
so that everybody can do what they want and uh, that we can have a, a better nation. He also would tell you, make the most of every moment because you never know when the next moment isn't going to exist. And laugh. So he does a lot of uh, review of the of the actual crime scene. They that they that they didn't take anything. He the father confirms the story that was fed to him from the the police, or the official narrative. And you notice the son just sits up front, and he the brother he doesn't say a damn word. Why didn't he say anything? Why didn't what what's he? He's kind of and you look at their eyes, and there's clearly a room full of you know this is crises acting right. Now is it is it. Is it, look, this is what I'm going to tell you, right? This is what I'm going to say, right? We live in a very corrupt, a very, 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 very corrupt time right now where, you know, I, I was saying to somebody, do you know how big the, the Pentagon is and, and the how many, how many millions and trillions of dollars are, are, are invested in, in, in creating narratives and controlling media narratives? It's just it's just enormous think tanks involved in in creating these stories right now. How do you prevent? How do you keep a family so in in line like this? How do you keep them? How do you get them to do something like this? Right? Is that is that even possible? How how do you do it? How did they get them to do it? Right? Here's the, here's how they do it. Right? So. Is Seth Rich alive? Right? At the time of this video, Seth Rich is alive. Why? Because the because the family because the family saw Seth Rich alive. Right? Right? See Seth Rich was was I believe was they he 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 was going to leak information and then he was going to be also tried on espionage charges for being a, a, a Russian spy or feeding information to the Russians. And he was caught, he was given a deal. This is what I believe. I believe that based on, on watching the, the family react, the family believes that Seth Rich is still alive, right? They, they do. Based on this video, Seth Rich is, to them at this time, Seth Rich is not dead and will not die. He will continue to live in paradise somewhere right he's 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 in protective custody according to them he has cut a deal with the powers that be that he will evade espionage charges if he cooperates by disappearing and we're going to stage a murder and that's and that's that right and he'll disappear right so they can so the so the the the, the powers that be the FBI the, the the law quote law enforcement agents can easily get this video by simply having Seth Rich meet with his family, saying his goodbyes, saying you know understanding that it that 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 I'd rather than go to jail for the, for thirty years in military prison for espionage, uh, I'm going to take this deal and disappear. Right. And he does disappear. And the family still believes that he's alive and well. And the family is told, well, maybe in five years, maybe in 10 years, you can go visit. You, you guys will be able to reunite again and see each other. But for now, Seth Rich must disappear. Because this, if, 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 he's, if, he, if he speaks to, to, the, to the DNC fraud lawsuit attorneys, right, He's he's they they're going to pin him as a Russian agent because of those email that email leaks and and try to convince the the, the world they're already doing it that that Julian Assange is op, is co, is not a publisher at all but is a Russian agent or operating with within the Russians so Seth Rich must disappear and does Seth Rich disappear yes Seth Rich disappears so the family believes that he's alive right. Everybody else thinks he's dead. The people that don't didn't look at the facts. I gave you the facts. There's no evidence of a murder, right? All there is is these 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 stories. So where is Re Seth Rich? Seth Rich, where are you? Come forward. Come forward. Seth Rich is dead. Seth Rich has to be dead because that's the way the mob operates. Someone like Seth Rich, who was in fact a leak. Right, and was confronted by 
the powers that be to say that he was a um, he was going to be charged on espionage charges for cooperating with the Russians, right? If that's the kind of deal that he was given, and th those are the conditions that were read to him, right? That's that's unbelievably damaging. Because now we know that the Russia story was fake. It's all, it's all bullshit. It's just a, it's just propaganda, right? And and that and then that 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 later guy. See, I don't want to get into like there's there's Ron Wheeler and there's all these other you know what what Fox News does. That's all the bullshit story. This is the real deal. Three days after the murder, you see the family, in, under crisis control, right? Right. So Seth Rich, my my belief is that Seth Rich was given a deal to disappear. And once he did disappear, Seth Rich must die. He has to because he's holding too much. He holds too much of an answer. If he, he should, if he should ever change his mind or disappear or fall out of, out of protective custody in some way and go in front of the cameras or release a video, a testimonial video that would, that would damage the, you know, that would show evidence that that the that the that the FBI actually staged a murder you know in order to so so my my belief is that Seth Rich once given this protective custody was was then eliminated he was killed probably maybe they said you know go down to to South America somewhere maybe a part of Africa or somewhere that he picked right give him give him choice it's his last probably his last meal right so he goes down there, and then and then they 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 kill him. So I think that the family thinks Seth Rich is alive, and that they'll someday meet him again, <laughs> not in heaven, but but figuratively, uh, r actually meet him, uh, based on some conditions. And that that sadly that's not going to happen because I believe he's dead. Because I don't think that that the uh, that the the FBI, CIA, and the power the, the power. Um, brokers could ever have a Seth Rich uh, stay alive. So my name is Marcus Conti. I'm an investigative journalist and uh, I've been carrying that story around in my head for over a year, two years, and it feels really good to, to, to let go of that. And um, I welcome your response. Peace.